Archaeologists there have recently unearthed human remains. Prehistoric skulls were found buried in layers of soil 9 to 12,000 years old. They are the oldest skulls in the Americas. And this is the oldest of them all. The skull of a young woman, nicknamed Luthia by scientists. Can she tell us who the first Americans were? Walter Nevis is a physical anthropologist at Sao Paulo University in Brazil. He's been using a standard and reliable archaeological measure, the shape of the skull, to find out what race she belonged to. He fully expected Luthia to be a mongoloid, an ancestor of the American Indians. But then he fed the measurements into the computer. When we start running the computer and seeing the results, uh, it was amazing because we realized that uh, uh, the statistics, the quantitative analysis we were doing was not showing just people to be mongoloid. In fact, the analysis was showing this people was anything except mongoloid. So who was Luthia? And where did she come from? To find out, the skull was taken to a hospital in Rio de Janeiro to begin the process of reconstructing her face. The first stage was to make a three-dimensional CAT scan of Luthia's skull in order to build a replica. was then given to Richard Neve of the University of Manchester in England, one of the world's leading forensic artists, to recreate her features. To me, is a Negroid face that has all the features that you associate with a Negroid face. The um, proportions of the face, it doesn't say anything about it being a mongoloid. Luthia belongs to a race found historically along the rim of the Indian Ocean. In East Africa, in the islands of South Asia, and in Australia and Melanesia. Was this then the face of a first American? Her reconstruction is confirmed by measurements Walter Nevis has taken of all his skulls. The first reaction uh, was not to believe in it. But as the results, you know, repeated, repeated, repeated so many times, and the result is exactly the same thing. They are very similar to nowadays aborigines and Africans, and no similarity at all with mongoloids in Asia or with American Indians. But how could Luthia be African and Australian? According to Walter Nevis, there's a very simple explanation. 
Luthia is a bit of both. The first humans originated in Africa. It's known that around 100,000 years ago, waves of people migrated out of Africa. One such wave went east, and 60,000 years ago, it reached Australia. Luthia, it seems, belonged to a race of humans descended from Africans, a race that eventually became today's Australian Aborigines. But if the first people to enter the New World were the ancestors of present-day Aborigines, how could they possibly have reached the Americas?